Hi, my dear friends! In today's video, I'll show you how to make a mini pyrography tool by yourself. Well, for us to make our mini pyrography tool, we'll need a solder and a power supply from a mobile phone or some other charging tool. More power means more heat. I will use a 5 volts 2 amps power supply from an iPhone. I think it will do the trick. We also need a pencil-sized wooden stick and two needles. One from a syringe and another one can be a sewing needle. We also need some thread, flux and some solder. Firstly, we have to bite out the nose from the syringe needle. You can do this with the help of nippers or pliers. Next thing to do is to attach our needles to the stick with the help of some threads. Place the needles parallel to each other on the opposite sides of the stick. Now we need to bend the end of the sewing needle. The needles should touch only slightly, or the power supply will burn out. Then, we have to solder the wires of the power supply to the needles. In this case, polarity does not matter. Apply some flux. And let's start soldering. Solder the first wire. and the second one. Then attach the wires to the stick and completely cover them with threads. Cut off the loose end of the wooden stick. So, our pyrography tool is almost ready. To make it more safe, I'll soak the threads with super glue and then put on some heat shrink sleeve. Well, guys, now we can say that our mini pyrography tool is ready. And it works very well. The syringe needle starts heating due to high resistance. And because it has very thin walls. So now let's test our mini pyrography tool. Plug the power supply into the socket. And wow, guys, the needle has already turned red. Despite the fact that the power supply has only 5 volts and 2 amps. I think that's a great result. As you may see, our mini pyrography tool does a pretty great job, though it's made out of scratch and is very light. I think that's a great result. It's quite possible to make a hole with it in a wooden rail up to 1 cm thick. 
Well, guys, today's video has come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to press thumbs up. And leave comments with your ideas about what you'd like me to show you in the next video. Also, I launched my official website – romanursu.com. You can check that out. There you'll find new posts every day. Thank you for your attention. Have a nice day! Did you know? Lathes for making the needle eyes that we are used to today were developed in 1815 in England.